it's so obvious at this particular point that you know what harry is never ever going back to the uk there was this article that was written and let me just read you the title the lad queen that never stopped hoping for harry and megan returning to the fold but with the frogmore eviction Batney snub and erasing their hrh titles charles is proving far more decisive so obvious and so true but one thing i feel it's so obvious that under pathetic stories harry is beyond the palace's reach he's shining yet again dominating the new circles and the palace can't stand it there's the silly silly stories being created day in day out it's so obvious that they are so much annoyed instead of you being happy one is being able to make progress or one is making another step forward or shining standing with the things he or she does you're kind of the one who wants to see his downfall and that annoys you to that extent of making decisions that are even annoying other people out here trust me you this is so so bad and so so much pathetic I don't know if you feel the same, but me it gets to that point whereby it annoys me. Why do they always have uh, to push or just throw rocks or just put hooks on somebody who doesn't even like care? Somebody who no longer minds whatever takes place back in the UK. But you always have to be the ones on the front line to show it to the public that you know what? We had this person. You know what? We don't want him back. Yes, we want him back, but we want him back without his wife. Acceptance has been the, the one thing. The so-called royal family members, the UK press hasn't been able to accept that their son got married to the love of his wife, the love of his life. Despite the fact that she is a biracial woman, that reduces nothing for the love that he has for his wife that's one thing harry has tried so much to prove to them but that's one thing they've not accepted i remember yesterday saying that these people are living in denial because if you don't want somebody if you had somebody why are you always on the front line wanting to see what he or she does why are you always on the front line wanting to see the progress that he is or she is making You've made it public that you have this person. Then mind your business as he or she continues minding his or her own business. That's a question that I fail to understand. You hate this person. Why are you always still stalking on her or him? It's so, so pathetic. And I bet we all can tell from the freedom that Prince Harry really is in at this particular time. He is really really so much enjoying it and i bet if he is ever going back to his father's house and why would he even do so what reasons that does he have to go back to a toxic environment an environment whereby you are not free to do what you feel like doing an environment full of trolling intrusion tablets and paparazzi day in day out once you just step out it's you I doubt if he would even wish to go back to such a toxic environment. Bearing in mind, he is so much okay with his nuclear family. Back in Montecito, I bet that's the best place for them. At this particular time, I love just seeing them out there, glowing, doing what they feel like doing, living their best life. Trust me, you, it's such, such an amazing thing to see the star success get or continue living the best life day in day out the hate campaign towards the sussexes at this particular time is really really failing they need to come up with a new tactic simply because their lies are falling on deaf ears the hate campaign that they tend to spread day in day out about the sussexes is just getting derailed people are just running short of it and people no longer want to hear anything or people no longer care of what they say and that's why i conclude by saying their lies are falling on deaf ears 
people no longer tend to care of what they say about their SaaS success. And that's why I bet I've said this and I'll keep on repeating. They better come up with a new strategy, a new tactic to be able to continue with their smear helpful campaign over the SaaS success. Trust me, you, Megan and Harry are currently living the best life. Same way they're minding their own businesses. I bet it's the same way the royal family members, the UK press at large, needs to start getting focused on their things. The same way Harry and Megan are busy focusing on themselves and bettering up their lives and assisting people within the society. The future king and queens that we would love to be served with are just a whole version of the Sussexes. And let me read you some comments that people made about the Sam. Somebody went ahead and said, By freeing him from the shackles of the royal family, Harry became the man he was always meant to be. And that is what upsets the royal family the most. That's so true. They are so much irritated of whom Harry has become, of whom the Duke of Sussex is. And that's why they tend to always continue just speaking ill or just spreading lies and rumors about the Duke of Sussex. But it's never ever coming to a fulfillment. Neither will they survive in this. Trust me, you. Somebody also went ahead and said, yep, his freedom makes them feel powerless. Them, as well as the Brits media, who thought they were kingmakers, they don't have a power to destroy Harry and Meghan. Never will they even get a single power to even come closer to them and uh, like just put them down. It's never going to happen. The same way they opened the door for them to leave, it's the same way they are supposed to have accepted that you know what, the Sussex has left and currently living their life. That would be like the best thing they would have done for themselves and save their energy, save whatever they always do, just waking up in the morning, just busy looking for a lie or thinking hard on their heads. What exactly are we today going to spread about the Sussexes so as to be able to publish our papers, also as to be able to make a living out of it? If they tend to focus on the better things back within their country, they won't have to tire themselves this much. Somebody also went ahead and said, the Daily Mail is garbage, but bitterness. I cannot urge against that pretty much snap of Charles' actions. We say nothing about Charles. I've always said he has failed, one, as a father, two, as a grandfather, and three, as a leader. And that's why the people he is currently leading no longer care of what he does. Simply because they see no potential at all. They see nothing good that is awaiting that Charles will be able to deliver. Trust me, you, that's why people no longer care of what is going on. Somebody also went ahead and said, no more parents shine when their children do well. Chucky has a second child of four spare parts for his first let that sink. Harry is who he is not because of you, Chucky, but in spite of you. So true. I love whatever this person is trying to bring about. As a parent, you're supposed to be proud of what has become of your child. Not the jealousy, not being the front one, kind of trying to give out information to the media to be able to like make your child a topic of discussion. Trust me, you know parent will do that. I even fail to understand who Charles truly is. But anyway, he is who he is and he tends to do what he feels is right and best for himself. At this particular time, personally, I just come to a conclusion and also we just need to recall what was stated by Diana. Diana said, Diana was right when she said Charles wasn't fit to be king. The royal family is a huge mess and that's on how weak Charles is. That's so true and it's a fact. Those are some of people's opinion of how they feel about the same having been so much failed by their king. Trust me you, Harry and Meghan will continue doing their best, continue glowing and thriving day in day out and no one is ever going to stop them from winning or becoming the people they want to become. I don't know what you think about the same kind of just leave your comments down below. 
बाय